Right then, another little bit of video. Just looking over at the Woodland Hill and the Dowsborough Hill Fort there. I walked up that track all the way up and stood at the top where there's like a little platform area where you can take views. I just didn't go a couple of feet higher up on another track, which I'll do another time. It's always best to leave something for another time. I've done all that and I've been all round, all round and round and round and coming along this track now. Surrounded by beauty and all the combs below. You can see where they split up there, that's one of the divides there. Um, you've got Slaughterhouse Coombe there. That carries on Shepherd's Coombe from, and they all join up with Hodder's Coombe coming down this way. Then um, the other side of this hill, you've got Holford Coombe going up that way and branching off into various coombes. You can see it all quite clearly from up here, can't you? And more from this side, although I've walked all around, of course. If you come out for a walk with me, we do a proper one. But at, at a really good pace. To be quite honest, you know, I'm not going to be going fast. And to some people it would be too slow and they would get hot and bothered because they're going slow. The reason I'm slow as well is I'm admiring everything about... Admiring everything. <sighs> Feeling great, smelling that beautiful nature's perfume coming from the gorse and the heather. Oh, it's so beautiful. Something you cannot capture that, like you can't capture manure or other smells of the countryside. Over there, across the heather there, we've got Steep Home Island, full of mystery, magical mystery, full of history as well. Yeah, I've been on that. I had a great day out there, despite being injured by the boat trip. There we've got a dredger out there. See them a lot and they often go into um, Baldrip Harbour with the sand and gravel. They unload it there. So nothing's wasted really. That's a dredger. They're constantly having to dredge to keep the, the river deep for the big ships. Which leads out to sea. This is the Bristol Channel. The Bristol Channel and um, the river, lots of rivers are here, Parrot, Severn, Banwell, lo loads of them, um, Axe, they all come from here. This is like a, a huge meeting place and very turbulent and then it goes further out, you're in the Atlantic. Well this is the Atlantic coming in but the rivers flow into the Atlantic here. I can see another little boat, that's probably a smaller dredger maybe. They usually have a couple of them out. God, look at this, isn't it beautiful everyone? That's a clump of trees, I always know that clump of trees there is near old Foxton. And we're going down a path I haven't been down before, near those trees. I don't think I've been down it anyway. It's an experiment. We're just turning off a minute to take a picture of this. <laughs> 